faísca do vosso amor pode abrazar a terra. Deixai-nos beber nas fontes da vossa bondade fecunda e infinita e todas as lágrimas secarão. Todas as dores se acalmarão. Um só coração, um só pensamento subirá até vós como um grito de reconhecimento e de amor. Como pois é sobre a montanha, nós vos esperamos de braços abertos. Queremos, de alguma sorte, alcançar a vossa misericórdia. Deus, dai-nos força de ajudar o progresso, a fim de subirmos até vós. Dai-nos a caridade pura. Dai-nos a fé e a razão. Dai-nos a simplicidade, que fará de nossas almas o espelho, onde se refletirá a vossa divina imagem. Although nobody can go back and make a new beginning, anyone can start over and make a new ending. Welcome my beautiful brothers and sisters connecting from all over Mother Earth to the portal of the Casa de Dominacio, the house of love, where the medicine is love here in Abidjania, in the heart of Brazil. And we have another glorious day here. We have blessed rain. Finally, after so much heat, nourishing the ground. And this is called the Chuva de Flores the rain of the flowers it's so beautiful because we are reminded that all things change and very quickly 
and we send this beautiful high vibration out to all parts of Mother Earth that need rain in these challenging days to the west coast of America, the Amazon, the Pantanal, to name just a few. So we are absolutely delighted and um, we've cooled down a bit. It was very, very hot and of course you might be able to hear the birds in the rafters taking shelter and joyfully serenading us all in a divine <laughs> symphony as they know now the ground won't be so hard for them to dig for worms and grubs and other insects so they will have a banquet. So God is great. And as we embrace this beautiful high vibration, we are in gratitude to God Almighty for another day to come together as a collective consciousness. And as we allow our own light to shine, we automatically liberate others to do the same as we settle deeper and deeper into this divine work. Wherever you are in the world, if you're lying down, great, relaxing, if you're under a crystal bed, superb. And if you prefer to sit upright with our heads elevated just a little so this energy can flow fluidly, freely and easily to each and every one of us. Like a river connecting us across the miles, a current of love and light. And let's put our intention into doing the best work we possibly can. Just don't cross your body in any way. Put a glass of water beside you and this will be blessed. And we will drink it at the end of the work to nourish us, mind, body and spirit. Water is life. As we close our physical eyes now and open our spiritual eyes, we're reminded again and again that we are spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around. We're not the body. We're much more than we think. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. And of course, we have so much help available to us beyond the veil and particularly now through the portal of the casa so many entities and today we honor one of these fabulous entities our brother chico shabby air brazil's most prolific and beloved medium he was the one who channeled a message from dr baziri de Menezes another beautiful entity of the casa, instructing medium Joao to build a casa on this sacred ground of Abidjania. And today we consider his prolific work through his automatic writing, which is a process known as psychographia, where mediums go into a trance, channel the spirits of the deceased and record their words. It is the producing of messages through writing without using the conscious mind. The technique is often practiced while the person is in a trance state. Others are fully awake, alert and aware of their surroundings, but not of the actions of their writing hand. Chico Xavier published more than 400 channeled books from 1932 until his death at age 92 in 2002. At least 25 million copies of his books have been sold worldwide and translated into so many languages, including Braille. He psychographed Nosalar, a very real account of what happens after we die, reminding us that death does not exist. He donated the income from his books and any donations he received to charity. Xavier never made an attempt to produce any scientific proof of his abilities. Supporters claimed that the size of his body of work, the diverse subject matter and different styles are evidence to Xavier's authenticity. He had no real schooling, a very simple, poor, humble man who just wanted to bring goodness into the world. In addition to publishing books, Xavier used his psychographic abilities to record more than 10,000 letters from dead people to their families. Most often it was grieving mothers who travelled from all over Brazil to visit Xavier at his home in Minas Gerais, hoping he would channel messages from their children. 
In these letters, the disincarnate spirits typically assured loved ones that there was no need to worry, that they were safe and happy, and that they still loved their families very much from beyond the veil. Sometimes the writing was backwards and sometimes it was in a language that Xavier did not speak. Skeptics who questioned the letter's authenticity were usually convinced by the handwriting and the inclusion of intimate details only the deceased could know. Xavier's powers were so widely recognised that a few times these letters were accepted as evidence in courts of law here in Brazil. Apart from his automatic writing abilities, Xavier had paranormal abilities as a medium and worked for the alleviation of all suffering here on earth, dedicating his life to humanity. And he also had a profound love of our brother Jesus, bringing many, many messages forward from the celestial fields here on earth. And he was an avid humanitarian and he devoted his psychic abilities to reassure others that life continues after death. So we are in great hands with this beautiful entity of the Casa. So with this joy in our hearts, let us turn to our brother Jesus whom Xavier really uh, brought messages forth through the spirit of Emmanuel. As we say the Lord's Prayer. Translated from its original Aramaic, the language of Jesus. And we put this beautiful high vibration from our open hearts out into the universe for the alleviation of all suffering of all beings carnate and disincarnate as we navigate our way uh, on our journey back home into the celestial fields so let us pray with open hearts without ceasing joyfully happy O cosmic birther of all radiance and vibration, soften the ground of our being and carve out a space within us where your presence can abide. Fill us with your creativity so that we may be empowered to bear the fruit of your mission. Let each of our actions bear fruit in accordance with our desires. Endow us with the wisdom to produce and share what each being needs to grow and flourish. Untie the tangled threads of destiny that bind us as we release others from the entanglement of past errors. Do not let us be seduced by that which would divert us from our true purpose. Rather, illuminate the opportunities of this present moment. For you are the ground and the fruitful vision, the birth power and fulfillment as all is gathered and made whole once again. Amen. And we turn now to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace, we ask you in this sacred moment to intercede for us, your children, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity in these darker days on earth and to help us to go inside on the journey of the heart and to find the peace, the harmony, the love, the forgiveness, the joy, the compassion, the abundance deep deep within us and it is within all of us we are divine beings helping us all with or without bodies on our healing journey back home merging into the light out of separation into oneness one heart one soul one light one love one family 
our mother, who is the void that creates all matter. Let we be one. Let we be one. Let we be one. Nourish us every moment to the power of now. Help us to elevate our often wounded and fearful hearts to the purity of love and compassion. Shield us always, enfolding us in your starry night sky. And deliver us from judgment and separation. Amen.
Eu navegarei 
And now as we bask in this magnificent high vibration, grateful for this opportunity to come together as one family, to learn these difficult lessons we have come here on earth to learn in these physical bodies and recognizing we have so much help from beyond the veil and the teachings of our brother Chico Xavier multiplying this beautiful Christ consciousness on earth helping us to realize that we are not alone we have so much help. And we just need to reach out, ask with a contrite heart, and you will receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. For those who ask, indeed receive. And those who seek, indeed find. And to those who knock, the door is always open. And with these beautiful teachings, channeled from beyond the veil, through the hand of our brother, Chico Xavier, He is most famous for the works he produced in collaboration with two of his guides. Emmanuel, a highly advanced being who shared his vision of a new form of Christianity available to everyone. The Christ consciousness resonating with all beings on earth. And Andre Lewis, a physician and poet who commented on the nature of life after death, realizing that death does not exist. Let us absorb these beautiful words channeled in the 1940s to the writing of Chico Xavier from one of his mentors Emmanuel reminding us of the beauty of the Christ consciousness always beaming forth this love light on earth let us pray With Jesus, mankind rises from the darkness into the light, from inertia to service, from ignorance to wisdom, from instinct to reason, from the use of force to righteousness, from selfishness to fraternity, from tyranny to compassion, from violence to understanding, from hatred to love, from deceptive possession to the search for imperishable wealth, from the bloody conquest to edification renunciation, from extortion to justice, from insensibility to compassion, from the shallow word to the creative verb, from monstrosity to beauty, from vice to virtue, from disharmony to harmony, from affliction to contentment, from the swamp to the mount, from filth to glory.
my fellow man, my brother, let us rejoice in the redeeming battle. What an angelic pinnacle we shall be able to reach if we truly consecrate ourselves to the divine friend, our brother Jesus, who descended among us and humiliated himself for us. Amen.
As we try to make sense of our lives and what's going on now on Mother Earth, it's hard for many of us to see a bigger picture. That these lessons that have been sent to us are for our own good and for our spiritual evolvement. And for those of us lucky enough to be on our spiritual path to be awoken to the portal of the Casa de Dominacio and all of these beautiful entities available to us. And through the power of our brother 
Chico Xavier. His mentor, Emmanuel, was working so hard to him and he sent a message from on high down to us here on earth telling us there's three things that we need for the spiritual path which is the real truthful path the first is discipline the second is discipline and of course you guessed it the third is discipline God has a sense of humour and of course many of us don't want to hear this as we struggle on our paths but we need to realise that we're not perfect beings and we're doing the best we can and we can reach out at any time to the beautiful Christ consciousness working all the time beyond the veil and here on earth and as we absorb these beautiful lessons to the teachings of Chico Xavier let us listen now to his Christian principles that were brought down to him to Emmanuel Actually, no, it was to Andre Lewis, who is an entity and incorporated of the Casa. Always with us, supporting us and helping us. To help us in these struggles on earth and to live the best life we possibly can through these Christian principles. Always help. Do not fear. Never despair. Learn incessantly. Think often. Meditate more. Speak little. Correct lovingly. Work happily.